We have 12 teams of two drivers ready to compete in the ultimate test of man and machine. Ahead of them is a 4,000 mile test navigating some of America's toughest roads and attempting some insane challenges. After 21 days, the winner will emerge, claiming $200,000 worth of prizes and the all-important Bull Run Trophy. This is Bull Run. Let's get it on. Welcome to the toughest and most exciting road rally in the world. Welcome to Bull Run. Now you've been chosen among thousands of applicants. Now it's your time to show you have what it takes to take home 200,000 in prizes and the ultimate automotive prize, the Bull Run crown. Now we all know car guys can talk a good game. Ladies and gentlemen, you get to play it. Now the question is, can you and your car survive my roads, my rules, and my challenges? Well, we're gonna see. Winning Bull Run is not about speed. It's about execution. The winning team will be the best drivers, quickest thinkers, and the team with the ability to be as ruthless as humanly possible. Now at the end of the day, it's a game. Make friends, have a good time. But not for one second let it slip your mind that there can be only one champion. The rules are simple. You must navigate to each checkpoint each day without any electronic navigational equipment whatsoever. The slowest two teams into the final checkpoint will automatically be thrown into the challenge. The winning team throws whoever they want into the challenge and the game is on. Loser goes home. Now this year's competition, there is a twist. At select locations, there is an immunity card. If you are the team that reaches that location first and grabs that card, you are exempt from being thrown into the challenge. You have a long journey in front of you, people, and you have absolutely no idea how hard this show is. You may think you do, but after 4,000 miles in 20 days, we're gonna find out who's got the guts and the desire to become the next Bull Run champion. Who's it gonna be? Let's see what kind of toys we're dealing with, ladies. Start your engines! Being on the bull run is something I've been trying for four years to do. It's the greatest show I've ever seen. I've been driving fast cars my whole life. To go from sitting on a couch to being here and seeing all the action, it's just, it's incredible. I love cars, I always have ever since I can remember. So it's just a dream come true. We've spent a lot of time in the car together. We're used to each other's styles, so I think we got a jump start on the rest of these teams. Watch out for us, because we don't quit. We don't come to Bull Run to lose. We are going to go all the way till the end. I think we're going to win Bull Run, because I don't like to lose at anything. 
you got a heck of a good car. And we're here to kick some butt. We're going to own this thing. Wait till you see what we have up our sleeves. It's the start of Bull Run. First checkpoint, downtown L.A. Downtown L.A. Take a left right here. Hollywood, downtown L.A. South Spring Street, downtown L.A. Spring Street, I know where that's at. But for those who don't, a map is vital. I don't have a map, dude. We gotta go. No map, let's go. Real street, man. Nope. We're real car guys. He's the main detailer, and I'm the main mechanic. We play with cars, build street rods, have muscle cars. Car stuff's what we do. How do you get up to the freeway? That is the $200,000 question. The first leg was ridiculous. We could see the freeway, but we couldn't find a way to get on it. There's another freeway right there, dude. <laughs> We're so lost. We're brother and sister. Sometimes we just can't even stand each other, but... We'll make it work. You go to a store and get a damn map. I know, right? When I found out about this challenge, I knew I had to pick the best guy to be my navigator. And that's my buddy Dave. Go, go, go right, go right. He's right. He's right there. Having a Lambo gives us a lot of opportunity. People like to come up and talk to us. So we'll have people that are going to give us support, hopefully in small towns, escort us to locations that we need to get to, and uh, be helpful and want to see us win. OK, open the hood. I started a weekly blog about my attempt to get on the bull run. Four years ago, I've had over 75,000 unique hits, and all it does is just drive me even more to be here and win. Exciting start, I can tell you that. What the f is this? I think we got a pretty good chance here because we've got the driving skills, we've got the navigation skills, and we've got the mechanic skills, and that's what makes us the total package. Turn it on! We can take this 91 all the way in. We actually drove all the way from Houston, Texas to here to L.A. to be on the show. So I think we got a little practice in there. We got a good feel of the vehicle. And uh, I think I think we're going to do really well. North of 15 to yeah. period. Docked with maps and gas, the remaining teams are ready to head out to the highway. Let's get out of here. Coming up on Bull Run. Hitting the open road. Yeah. The game has begun. But it's not all smooth sailing. Oh God, please, no! As the game's played hard. It's called boarding someone. With tough decisions to make. Whoever you pick would be your enemy. I'll put the rule on the mat. There's some very dirty tricks being played. Once on the freeway, the bull runners can relax for a while and enjoy the ride. Just when things are going smoothly, Bull Run throws the teams a curveball. Oh, Shiza. Damn it. Are you serious? Oh, God. I told you there's going to be traffic on the fire. Oh, God, please, no. Hey, is this the quickest way downtown LA? Yeah. yeah. Bull Run definitely wanted to get our adrenaline going from zero to 100. On minute one, it was throw you in L.A. rush hour traffic. I really got to think there's no quick way into L.A. right now. Here you are in a rally uh, with $200,000 on the line, and you're maybe getting into second gear. But when all you can do is crawl, it's best to play it cool. I'm going to send it over to you. Boom! Boom. Send it back. I just sent it to myself. Whoa, 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 break it down. Uh, uh. But it's not so slow for everyone. Being from Southern California, we know traffic flows. We know what direction is heavier at what times. Hey, Team Lambo just passed us. Are we close to the checkpoint? Yeah. We got through up into LA pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure we were the first guys into the midday checkpoint. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, yeah. Where? Mojave. Okay, go straight. Lambo may have hit the checkpoint first, but the others aren't far behind. Oh, I see downtown. I do too. I said we just go right to downtown and just start asking people. 
couldn't believe how easy it was. We thought it was going to be a lot harder. There was actually a, an exit labeled for the street that we were looking for. Spring Street, boom! boom. boom. Final checkpoint, airplane graveyard, Mojave, California. Managed to get here with no map, no gas, so we're doing good. Mojave, California. Sweet! Thank you very much. Mojave. What? Up Man. by Mike. Are you serious? Right now? We kidding. already know where that is. Before checking a map, the Lexus girls see a sneaky opportunity to find the airplane graveyard. 14, and it continues up, right? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank God for cell phones. Thank God for people with cell phones that have GPS on them. Coming up on Bull Run, the teams realize that being on Bull Run ain't so easy. I don't see anybody around. Dude, we're going the wrong way. Why won't any of these turn on? There's a lot at stake. It's called boarding someone. And tough decisions to make. Whoever you pick is going to be your enemy. I'll put the rule on the mat. There's some very dirty tricks being played. Having successfully reached the first checkpoint, the bull runners must now navigate to the airplane graveyard at Mojave or go for the immunity. Once we got out of LA, incredible feeling. We finally got out on the road, got moving, got to actually use our map and navigate a little bit. Then it felt like bull run, it was incredible. That's LA fast, honestly. It seemed like everything was working out for us. Bull Run to me is more than just, I want to win. We pretty much have to win. It's all or nothing. We don't have the money to make payments anymore, work slow, and this could be the answer to our problems. We're probably going to get real tired of talking to you this trip. Most likely. Lamborghinis are for show, and we're showboats. With my driving, his navigational skills will never be in a challenge. We're down here, dude. Just past the two. We still got a ways to go. He's actually training to be an MMA fighter right now. He cut 50 pounds just so he could fit in the passenger seat of my car. Well, since she's navigating is very good, so I trust her. Unless she tells me to drive off a bridge or something, I'll lie. I'll go right ahead and do it. I work in the body shop with my dad. We travel a lot, we drive a lot, we've driven that car all over, and uh, I think we can do it, and I think we can win it. 64 bucks, oldest vehicle in the bull run this year, and the baddest I might have to say. It's a little, it's a little bumpy though, but it's all right, we still enjoy the ride. I've been growing this mullet, so uh, they think we're backwoods and we only drive on dirt roads. We've never seen pavement before. But we're business. We didn't work this hard to go home. Bull Run is such a challenge. And being that Dave and I are opposites, it makes our team very tight. Bruno's strong points is he's definitely a good driver. He's a strong driver. So I know we're not going to get anywhere and get into situations he can't get us out of. I own a performance shop with my boyfriend in Atlanta. I help my boyfriend manage his performance shop as well. When this opportunity came along, we thought it'd be a great place to showcase our skills and really show people what we can do. That, you know, we're not just a pretty face behind a business, we're, we're behind the driver's seat too. I don't think we were last, but I think we were first. We were both stationed in the Air Force, so we become friends through working on cars. Our military training will help us. I think we can pretty much handle anything that's thrown at us. Are you surprised you haven't seen any cars yet, John? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> we travel so much for our job. I've been doing it for 17 years, using maps before GPS was invented. So Bull Run's a perfect match, I think. I think we're not. Hopefully nobody passed us. The question is, do we go for the immunity? That is the question. Teams now have the choice to go for the finish line or to try to get the only immunity. If you try and fail, it could mean your ass. Do you want to do the immunity checkpoint? Well, if we take the time to go there and then it's not there anymore, then we'll be in last for sure. Yeah. Well, does it make any sense to go after it now? That goes straight. I think so. Think of it this way. If we go for it, we got to stop and get a minute. I like nobody went for it. 
So next time, everybody's going to go for it. But there is one team who thinks differently. Let's go for the I mean, we got it. It. It's in the same city. We just got to find it. Lightline Street, Airport Graveyard. Spelled differently on both maps. That's nice. Now, I don't see anybody around them. Right here, dude. We're not going the wrong way. Dude, we're going the wrong way. What? I think we're going the wrong way. What? I think we're going the wrong way. Yep. Going the wrong way. When he said we're going the wrong way, it was just completely like, okay, we're done. You know, we're coming in last place. The map I had was pretty small. I couldn't read it very well. It felt like a big weight on me. It felt like the tires were just deflated in, in, the, in the car. I mean, it was the absolute worst feeling. We went so far. We went an hour the Yep. It's two hours. Yep. Working so hard to get all the way here and then knowing that you have a chance of actually going home on the very first day. Well, there it Well, I guess at this point, why not? Maybe everybody got scared. Coming up on Bull Rock, trouble is in the air. I'm gonna save this map. I'm gonna wipe my ass with it. Why are we going on the five north? The bug is up in smoke. Flambeau has something up their sleeve. It's called boarding someone. And who will be in the chapel? Well, are you sick or be your enemy? I'll put the woo on the map. There's some very dirty tricks being played. As the teams head to Mojave, the tables have turned. Team Challenger drove 50 miles in the wrong direction, and the mistake cost them dearly. They're in last place. I'm gonna save this map and use toilet paper tonight. I'm gonna wipe my ass with it. And maybe they're not the only team that got it wrong. Why are we going on the five north? What are you talking about? I told you to get on the two. You did? Ah, got you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> hey, look on there. The 210 doesn't get take a shortcut of the 14. Those Lexus girls work much mechanics, right? <laughs> My boss didn't put it on there. It's got this big round. He said, what? Output turbo, is it? Well, I don't know. Everybody seems alive. <laughs> Our strategy has been to play up the, the typical female. We don't want to show them up too soon in the game. We don't want to, you know, lay our cards on the table just quite yet. We need to not be heading towards the Mojave Desert with no gas. We're tired of being looked at as girls that don't really know much about anything, and we're here to earn our respect. What is the odometer? While Tracy earns her respect, Jonathan puts on a brave face and works on resolving their issue. We our way up the Mojave Desert to find ourselves immunity. Hard to whip it out when it's a challenger. What the hell did you do? Get the last place. Bam! Get your face. That would be nice. You just gotta, you gotta pick yourself back up, because that's the only way you're gonna win this thing. But it's also about having a good strategy. We're kind of trying to play it mid-level. Stay out of everybody's sights and just kind of sneak up at right. the end and knock them right. all out. Out of sight, out of mind. Improvisation, that's our plan, because every day is different. Anybody can be gone one day or the other. Being from Texas, we're real friendly. I can be your best friend, but when we have to get going, I'll cut your throat. The other guys are out here to drive and navigate. They don't know how to think outside the box. We have a lot of little tricks that can help us get ahead. And we're just about to find out how devious the woos really are. This is called boarding someone. We were way ahead, and we decided not to come in first place because we, we want to stay underneath the radar, so we actually went to get our immunity card first. Flip it around. Okay. We didn't know what it looked like, so when we got to the checkpoint and grabbed our immunity card, it was a wrench. And so we had fake immunity cards, and we ended up leaving with the checkpoint driver and told him not to disclose anything, and they handed it to the next person who would come in for immunity. This is the real immunity card. We are so far ahead of everybody that we're just gonna drive around and we're gonna come in like in the middle of the pack. Right, right, on the highway. Right. When we just went over. 
So while it's happy days for Team Lambo, it's troubled times for Mr. Happy. We're about to hit the 14 to go up to the final checkpoint, and the car filled up with smoke. It's like Chief Chong. It was just rolling out the windows and uh, said, we have to pull over. About 40 minutes of time elapsed as we uh, came up with a fix to bypass the issue, and uh, we were back on the road. Redneck engineering. Yay. Yay. Rednecks. Coming up on Bull Run, the finish is in sight. Viper's right behind us. Oh, damn, it's close, dude. But it won't be easy. So we can ask somebody. He said, go this way, you're sure. Yeah. Can I see us? Driving times are revealed. There's some very dirty tricks being played. And which three teams will take on the challenge? Let's get it on. <laughs> team Bug Stop cost them big time, giving Team Challenger a chance to catch up. Now the front of the pack is closing in on the finish, and it's game on. I hate to come in first right now. Whoever you pick would be your enemy. Oh, hey, there's the BMW right there. Viper's right behind us. Oh, man. We thought we were probably the first team. Then when we were getting off the freeway, Viper comes up behind us. Oh, damn, it's close, dude. It's razor close. But for Team Lambo, there's no competition. We're at straight, 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 straight. There's the car right there. Yeah, that's it. We made it back to the finish line first, but no one else was there. It's not enough just to play with the immunity. The woos are a devious bunch. The rules are the rules. Anything else, there's no rules. That's ball run. Teams Mini, BMW, and Viper are all in town searching for the finish. It was pretty much smooth sailing until we got to Mojave, and then it was quite a challenge trying to find the place we're at now. So we can ask somebody. Hey, how do you get to the airport? He said the flight line was right behind us, so we could go through the back. The back out here? I can hit the main street. Yeah. Okay. He said, go this way, you're sure. Yeah, he said, it's right behind you. Right here, this street? Yeah, this street. This street right yeah. there? There's an airplane. The flashing lights over there? As the sun sets over Mojave, Team Bug and Challenger vie for last place, both knowing that the immunity could be their only chance at survival. We stopped and asked some firefighters, and they seemed to be pretty sure about which way it was, and that the which way they sent us was not even close to where we were supposed to go. We were probably going to just keep driving around until we fell asleep. We had no choice. Right there, see it? See him? Oh, yeah. We came up over this hill, and uh, there's the truck with the flashers and everything. Bolt jumped out, jumped back in, and we look at it, and it says, Bull Run, immunity. immunity. We're like, this is great, perfect. We knew we had an ace in the hole. Team B-Dub is in the race! As BW heads for the finish, Team Challenger is the only team remaining. We've probably spent about an hour and a half looking for that immunity checkpoint. We just couldn't find it. I think around 11 o'clock at night, you know, we saw the field mice jumping around. Uh, the dirt roads were running out that we were on. It was time to give up. We figured we'd just wake up the next day fresh and uh, get into that challenge and kick some ass. Runners. Welcome to Mojave. Congratulations on completing your first leg of Bull Run. Now, before we get to the business at hand, it seems that even in the early stages of Bull Run, there's some very dirty tricks being played. 
Now, which team thinks they have immunity? Please step forward. Tell me what you got, gentlemen. You have the Bull Run immunity card. We got it out of the, the truck. Guys, you've been played. Oh, no. It seems as if someone made it to the immunity checkpoint before you. They switched the immunity. And what you have, gentlemen, I'm sorry to say, is absolutely worthless. You can take your place back in line. If the team that does have the real immunity would like to step forward, you may do so. Fair enough. It looks like it's game on. Now, down to business. In first place, after yesterday's driving leg, is... Team Viper. Now, way to go, guys. What do you have to say for yourselves? You did pretty damn good on the first leg. I'm shocked. We made a few mistakes. I have a really good navigator, though, and uh, I guess it worked out for the best. Now, Team Viper, not only do you win the black magic detail, but obviously, you are safe in today's challenge. Now, let's get to the three teams in today's challenge. In last place, nearly three hours behind their closest competitor and posting arguably the worst leg in bull run history. Team Challenger. Now, what happened, guys? Well, Bill, we had issues finding a uh, good map. One we finally found was quite crappy, and crappy map equals crappy time. I'll take this, John. We did have a bad map, but ultimately the responsibility lies on me. Uh, and by the time we got here, we knew we were so far behind that we figured we'd spend a little time looking for that immunity because we thought it was our only chance, and it turns out we were just chasing rabbits and field mice. Now, when you were going south towards San Diego, you didn't see those signs on uh, Highway 5 that said towards San Diego? No, we saw them. We just, uh, like I said, I looked at the map and we thought that's the way we were supposed to be going. Honest mistake. Hopefully, you'll be here tomorrow to rectify it. We'll be fine. In second to last place in joining Team Challenger, what a cruel twist of fate. Team VW. Now guys, unfortunately that's just how the cookie crumbles. What are your emotions now? Oh, we were doing so good into the first checkpoint. Started towards the second, broke down. Took us an extra 40 minutes to get back on the road, but we're ready for a challenge. This bull run, we're not done. For the third and final team in the challenge, we go to the winners, Team Viper, for their decision. Gentlemen, before you decide, understand that in this early stage, you're about to make an enemy. Uh, we were talking about it and we're trying to be strategic, so. I think Team Mustang. Team Mustang. Now why would you pick Team Mustang? We haven't had that much time with Team Mustang, so it's nothing personally. Oh yeah, it is. It um, is now. Yes, it is. We just feel that their car's a threat. And so, that's why we picked them. The Mustang, you heard the decision. You're about to go on the challenge. What do you think? I think it's a chicken move. I mean, that's what I think. It's, uh, you know, there's cars up there that, I got a 1970 Ford. It's 40 years old. Yeah, I don't think it's much of a threat. Yeah, but uh, I'm rolling with no AC in my car in the desert with the windows up. But, you know, we'll do what we gotta do. Old school. Let's see if you can represent well. In the last two spots, we have Team Challenger and Team VW. They're joined by Team Mustang, who was thrown in by this leg's winner, Team Viper. Ladies 
and gentlemen, welcome to Jet Rescue. The challenge starts with the sole driver, his teammate locked in a plane and handcuffed to a briefcase. The driver must drive the course to the Bull Run jet as quickly as possible. He must stop, enter the jet, locate his teammate, and release him. The rescued teammate must unlock himself from the briefcase before taking over driving duties and completing the rest of the course. And as always, fastest time wins. Let's get it on. Coming up on Bull Run. Tensions are high. Put the woo on the map. Now the gauntlet's been thrown. Hey, Viper. I see you. Oh, my God! Bring it all, guys. Now we got it. Who will emerge victorious? Take it, take it. And who will go home? First team to be eliminated from Bull Run is... <laughs> Taking part in the jet rescue is the Mach 1, the Bug, and the Challenger. I actually was kind of not pushing for first place because of this. I didn't want to have to put someone in a challenge. Well, that's all too late now. When Viper chose us to throw into the challenge, it, it became a personal thing for us. What comes around goes around, and they'll get theirs. It, it's coming. So we'll do just fine. Steady as a rock, no problem. Guys, the clock is ticking. Let's go. Wow, it's going slow there. Oh, oh, come on, guys, go faster. Yeah, First time I ever drove Tony's car, so I was nervous letting the clutch out. Tony's telling me, give it gas, give it gas, uh, guiding me, you know, when to go into first, when to go into second, when to brake. Luckily, from the time I sat down in the driver's seat until we got stopped, nothing bad happened. Woo! It looks like some people's got some enemies now. Yeah, uh-oh. Better watch out. Better make sure that they don't make you first. Hey, Viper, what's up? I see you. Before starting the challenge, Aaron wants to settle the mystery of the immunity. Uh, you guys had the card? No. We don't have the card. We didn't even look for it. We came straight here. Then, who, then who's, who's, who's doing the lying? Who's lying? It's got to be you. I know it had to be you to pay the card. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. What I can tell you, once I get past this uh -huh. and everything, mm -hmm. it's going to be your Super Lambo uh -huh. against my POS VW. And guess what? One of us is going to be standing, and it's not going to be a Lambo. Mm. Flat period. I'll put the woo on the mat. Okay. Mr. Happy? Mm -hmm. Not so happy. <laughs> We're 110 percent. We worked on it. Um, when we got in, we're gonna we, put we, Matthew back on the front. For yeah, this. and we, we're through. Yeah, we're ready. There's, there's no doubt. We're gonna pump this. We're gonna put this on the floor. Mr. Happy's not over. That car is not going home. Something's not right. Got the briefcase off, ready to go. Reached for the key to start the car. The starter is gone. Aww. Troy got behind the car, started pushing. Car fired, jumped in. It was awesome. The second half, I let it fly. I let it fly. I must have been going 60 coming over the corner there and nailed the stop. The car performed perfectly. I think it's gonna make a great story when it goes from first to worst and then back to first. We're not even nervous about this thing. Got 100% faith in my co-driver. and Jonathan's already working on the briefcase. Bring it all, guys, that we got. Bring it, dude. Take it a little slow. Cut this corner over here. Take it. Go, go, you're good, man. Speed it up, you're good. Take it, take it, take it.
great. We didn't hit any snags. Man. We went when we had to go. I stopped when we had to stop. I didn't even hear a single explosion. We made one mistake yesterday. It turned out to be a big mistake. It brought us here. We kicked ass. No, no more mistakes. mistakes. No From more here mistakes. on out. Boom. Oh. Coming up on Bull Run, time for judgment. For one of you teams, this is the end of the road. Who's it gonna be? The first team to be eliminated from Bull Run is... Well, drivers, if I must say so, that was a spectacular challenge. Now, TVW, how'd the fire affect you out there? Not at all. Not at all? Not so at focused, all. didn't even notice it. How about the traction team, Mustang? Ah, uh, sucked. I mean, there was no traction out there. It was, it was bad. There wasn't a lot of traction. Team Challenger, any uh, problems with the course? Not at all. We nailed it. Uh, didn't make a single flaw. We're gonna see. Yes, so. Drivers, the reality is at the end of every challenge, it's unfortunate, but one of you goes home. Now the winner of Jet Rescue is... Team Challenger. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Way to go, guys. I can honestly say that you have redeemed yourselves. After the nightmare navigation that you had on the first leg, I think you're back in the driver's seat. You can join your friends over here. Yes. Good job, guys. Yes, sir. Good job. Good job. Good job. Team Mustang, Team BW. For one of you teams, this is the end of the road. The first team to be eliminated from Bull Run is... Team BW. Now guys, everybody greatly appreciates the time and effort you put forth in that car to bring it to the rally. You're great car guys, you represented well. Team Mustang, it came this close to going home. I suggest tighten the screws and turn it up a notch. Got it. Because if not, tomorrow night, I'll be throwing you the keys. We never gave up, we just kept on pushing. We broke down. We thought we found the immunity card. We get thrown in the challenge. We lose the challenge. Everything that could happen in Bull Run happened to us in one day. In one day. I'm disappointed that we didn't move on, but... But we realize that this is a game and somebody has to win it. Someone has to go home. Get some rest, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you on the next leg of Bull Run. time on Bull Run. An unexpected twist. Your next driving leg will be at night. Alliances are forming. We're going to take 58 all the way out. We're going to take 58 also. Careful who you choose. Way back there. Knock down. Somebody tell you to give me this. Tell me it was the wrong way. The pressure's on. I'm do whatever I got to do. I got to do a strip tease. This isn't even the final destination. Uh, <laughs> who will make it to the next round? Let's get it on.